In this video we are going to be looking at parallax road textures and I'm going to show you how to install them all while utilizing the newest versions of the ENB series. So let's get started. Go to Skyrim SE Nexus and type in Northern Roads. This mod also changes a lot of other stuff besides the roads like bridges and also some clutter. So if you're someone that doesn't really want to change up their mod list that much, I wouldn't recommend installing this mod. So this is your first option and it's also the easiest. And you can also see because this mod modifies a bunch of stuff on the roads that there's going to be a lot of patches for them. So heed this warning, uh, if you do install this on a rather large playlist, you may have to look for a patch. So let's go ahead and get this installed and see what it looks like. Go to Files and Download with Mod Manager, Northern Roads. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and install like normal. And apply. Now go back to Skyrim SE Nexus and type in Complex Parallax and it should pop up for Northern Roads. And if we scroll down to the requirements, we can see that this mod requires parallax occlusion mapping. Well, guess what everybody? Parallax occlusion mapping is now included in the latest ENB series. And if we take a look at which one uh, included it, it was the version 0.481, added complex parallax. A great addition to Boris's ENB. So if you have this one and up, you don't need to install parallax occlusion mapping. So now let's go back to the complex parallax mod page and I'm going to be downloading the 8K textures because I really want to see what this looks like. And of course you can download whatever your computer is capable of handling. And there's also a saturated version 2. I'm going to be testing this one out as well. And now that it's downloaded, we're going to install. And make sure that it's overriding Northern Roads by putting it below Northern Roads. And there's only one more thing that you have to change. Go to the folder icon and open up the game folder. And this is the part that everybody seems to uh, skip over whenever they try to install something parallax and it doesn't work and that is because you need to go into your ENB series INI folder and you have to make sure that complex parallax is indeed enabled so for this line right here you have to set this to true in order for parallax to work in your game. And that is it. Just go to File and Save. And everything should now be working properly. So let's start up the game and find out. And here is what the 8K Parallax Road textures look like. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It's definitely better than what the vanilla has going on. Um, it, it's got a pretty good representation of, of dirt roads for Skyrim. Not bad. But when we take a stroll down to look at the bridge, uh, th this is part of the mod that I don't like. But it's really up to you uh, if you want to use a mod like this. But this looks really good. And then you can see how it kind of blends in and it kind of unparallaxes and then goes into the dirt road so if this is something that you don't like uh, we have other choices for parallax roads but overall yeah this this looks pretty decent i could use this in a playlist i think there's some ants over here yeah they're right here not bad but let's jump out and let's uh Let's turn on the saturated version. So if you go back to Complex Parallax, you can see that there is a 4K saturated version. So let's give this one a try. And if you have downloaded this as well, in order to try it out, just uncheck the other one 
and install this one. And I like to go ahead and rename stuff just so I know exactly what's in my mod list. So saturated uh, version. And of course, make sure it's underneath Northern Roads. Um, this one looks, yeah, it's a little bit too saturated. But here it is. So now let's jump out and try out the other Parallax Texture mods. The next mod is actually for Northern Roads as well, and it is called Rocky Mossy Complex Parallax. So I'm going to be downloading the faux mod for the 2K, 4K version. And once you're done downloading, go ahead and install it. 2K version. So there are one, two, three, four, five choices and they all look pretty good. So we're gonna try out the Rocky Mossy version and install. And here we are. This is the Rocky Mossy version and it looks pretty good, I gotta say. If this entices you, well then here you go. And as you can see, it still has the weird blending issue as well for the Northern Roads Bridge. Not bad looking. Let's pop out and try another one. All you have to do to check out the other textures is just right click and go to reinstall mod. And just run the faux mod again and choose your choice, which is Muddy Brown. Next, install and always replace. Well, there you have it. If this is to your taste, then, but not for me. All right, so let's pop back out and try another one. And as you can see, this one is much brighter. These are very high quality textures for sure. If they scan these or they did it by hand, yeah, these look really good. This could be a winner for me. Let's go check out over here. I could use this on a playthrough for sure. Yeah. And it, it makes sense. The road actually makes sense. Instead of it just being dirt, you know, it's actually some gravel. You could say that these rocks came from the mountains, you know. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. Very, very highly detailed for sure. It kind of looks, kind of makes it look like a, like a cell shade kind of, like cartoon graphics. Um, and it could also be my E and B. You know, your, your road may look better than this. Um, but how I have the E and B set up or just the E and B that I have could, uh, could make it look worse than what your E and B might look like. But this one, this one's actually pretty good. I kind of like this more than the, uh, the bright stones kind of blends in better. Look at that. Pretty neat though. Parallax is pretty awesome. All right, so let's hop out and check out the very last one for this mod. This has got a lot of detail going on. Little much for my taste. Very highly detailed for sure. I mean, that's that it doesn't get any better than that for texture quality. If it can, then, wow, I'd like to see it. Oh, 
All right, well, this about does it for the Rocky Mossy compilation. So let's uh, let's hop out and uninstall Northern Roads and get rid of this, uh, this horrendous looking bridge. Okay, for the last mod, it is going to be a Blended Roads Parallax texture pack. Um, this is more of a dirt road parallax. It doesn't actually do anything to the rocks, but it's a mod that I thought looked really good and I wanted to uh, try out. So this one is for Blended Roads. And then you have somebody that created the parallax textures uh, for the dirt for Blended Roads. So let's give this one a try. I also wanted to go ahead and note that the Rocky Mossy mod is actually available for Blended Roads. Um, the reason why I'm not including it in this video is because one of the requirements is that you use PG Patcher. Um, if you don't know what PG Patcher does, it's supposed to fix texture uh, incompatibilities with different types of mods, and it's supposed to help with parallax and non-parallax texture blending. So apparently it's a really good mod, but I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to save it for another video. And let's go ahead and uninstall Northern Roads. Install Blended Roads. Let's go for the really Blended Roads version. And I'm not using SMIM. Okay, let's check it out. And here we go. Yeah, this is uh, for sure. I like this one a lot better. It looks good. It looks good. The uh, the stones are kind of have a parallax effect with the really blended roads version, and the dirt is parallaxed. It looks good. Let's go check out over here. The bridge is now fixed and looks great. Not bad at all. Still seems like there's a little bit of seam issues that happen here, but what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, from this angle you can really see um, the really blended roads version. It definitely has a parallax effect to it. And Riverwood is looking great. Yeah, this this can be a this can be a nice one to use on a playthrough, or for any mod list you got. I think it looks great. Well, that's gonna be it for this video, everyone. Um, I hope this helped you out on deciding which kind of uh, parallax road mods you'd like to use and how to install them. And I'll see you in the next video. Good luck on your modding ventures.